Hello everyone, welcome to my video tutorial for the palette editor in Voyant. My name is Fabricio Lacarra Ramirez, and I'm a digital humanities assistant for the DH Center here at San Diego State University. This guide is part of a series of mini tutorials covering various tools and functions available in Voyant for text analysis. If this is your first time hearing of or using Voyant, I invite you to explore our slideshow guides on Voyant Basics and Voyant Stop Words and Search Queries created by Kiana Kinshasa. Our DH Workshop tutorial for Voyant for Text Analysis, created by Pam Lack, is a great supplementary resource to view afterwards. This mini tutorial will cover the palette editor function within Voyant, how to change the current palette, how to create your own personalized color palettes, and how using the palette editor can help you achieve your project goal. All right, let's get started. Before we get into how to use the palette editor function, let's cover what a palette is. A palette, in computer graphics, relates to the range of colors or shapes available to the user. The word palette is a reference to the tool used by an artist to lay and mix colors paint for painting. So, why would someone want to change the palette? Well, when using tools in Voyant that rely on visualizations to display information, the colors of these visualizations correspond to the currently selected palette. When first opening Voyant, a default palette is displayed, but you may want to experiment with other palette options that better fit your project needs. The palette editor is accessed by clicking the Options button on the top right of a panel in Voyant. A pop-up menu will appear featuring a drop-down box labeled Palette. Clicking the arrow on the right of the drop-down box will display six default palette options. Changing the palette will affect all on-screen panels with the palette option. Here's a list of tools that have the palette editor function. Bubble lines, cirrus, trends, and knots. Changing the selected palette also affects certain tools that do not have the palette editor available in the options menu. Here's a list of tools that are affected by palette changes. Loom, mandala, scatterplot, stream graph, and terms radio. As of the making of this tutorial, these are the only tools that have the palette editor option or are affected by it. As Voyant is a product of the digital humanities, these lists of compatible tools may change in the future. Voyant offers six unique palette options to choose from by default. Here they are. We have our default palette, D3 underscore cat 10, D3 underscore cat 20A, D3 underscore cat 20B, D3 underscore cat 20C, and EXTJS. Don't like the default palettes? Create your own! While you can't start with a blank palette, you are able to customize your own by starting with an existing palette as a base. You can then add, remove, or clear the selected colors in a palette, and save it when it's done. Doing so will not alter the default palettes, but instead create a new palette according to the colors you've selected. To use this function, select a pre-existing palette from the drop-down menu and click the Edit List button to the right. This will open a menu showing the colors corresponding to the currently selected palette. From here, you can add or remove individual colors from the palette, or hit Clear to delete all the selected colors from the palette. Once you're done, you can save a custom palette by hitting the Save New Palette button at the bottom of the menu. When adding individual colors to a palette, there are two options for selecting colors, the color gradient and the hex code bar. The color gradient lets you choose any specific color from the gradient. You can change the colors available in the gradient by selecting a different color family from the bar to the right. After selecting a color, click Add to include that color in your custom palette. The hex code bar can be found under the color gradient. Hex codes are values that tell a computer how to display a specific color on screen. Inputting a color's hex code will find the exact color within the color gradient. The hex code for the color magenta is hashtag FF00FF, so if I put that into the bar and press enter, the color corresponding to that hex code is selected for me. For this to function properly, the hex code syntax must be correct. This refers to how we write hex code a hashtag followed by six letters and or numbers. Here are some examples of correct hex code syntax and their corresponding colors. 
This syntax is standard across all browsers and devices. You can determine a color's hex code by using a free, standalone, browser-based hex color picker. There are many to choose from, but here are a few recommendations for color pickers that we used in the making of this tutorial. Note, when selecting colors for your palette, it is important to be conscious of color blindness. Here are some resources that may be helpful in building a colorblind inclusive palette for your visualization. If you'd like to learn more about available skins, I invite you to explore our other mini tutorials in the series on Voyant for Text Analysis. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.